it's Gabrielle, and this video is a sample from StudyClicks Boost, our new rapid revision tool. Go to studyclicks.ie forward slash boost to find out more. Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at the structure and the function of the various parts of the breathing system. Now, first off, make sure you understand that the breathing system is sometimes known as the respiratory system. The main organs involved here are going to be the lungs, and they're found within what we call the thoracic cavity. Now, you need to be able to draw this whole structure, but I think it's more likely on an exam that you'll be asked to name the different parts and give the function of those different parts. So let's work through it. So starting with the nose, the nose is where we inhale air. Now, the nose is filled up with tiny little hairs, which act as filters, which block any microparticles such as dust. The air is also warmed and moistened as it passes through the nose. At the top of the windpipe, we have a very important structure called the epiglottis. It's made of cartilage and its role is to prevent food and drinks from entering the windpipe. The larynx lies at the very top of our windpipe and it's better known as the voice box. It contains two vocal cords and what we are doing when we speak is we are passing air through those vocal cords which produces sound. The main windpipe is better known as the trachea and its job is to carry air down into the lungs. Now, the trachea is lined with a moistened mucous membrane, which means that any microparticles such as dust will get trapped on that. Now, there are tiny little structures. They look a little bit like hairs called cilia. And what they do is they grab those little particles such as dust particles and they move it back up toward the mouth or the throat or the pharynx. They bring it back up toward the outside world. The trachea needs to be kept open at all times and that's what the rings of cartilage do. They keep the trachea wide open which means that an airflow is constant up and down into the lungs. At the base of the trachea the windpipe splits into two and we call this the bronchi. Now be careful, bronchi is the plural, the singular is bronchus. So we have one bronchus, two bronchi. So obviously in a human we have two bronchi. Now these two pipes attach the trachea and it will eventually divide up into smaller little branches. Again they've got rings of cartilage, they've got mucus and they've got cilia. The bronchi break up into smaller branches and we call these smaller branches the bronchioles. They don't have cartilage rings and they're going to transport the air from the bronchi to the alveoli. The alveoli are tiny little air sacs and this is where gaseous exchange happens. Now remember, gaseous exchange is where oxygen and carbon dioxide are exchanged between the air and into our bloodstream. The diaphragm is a large sheet of muscle which sits at the base of the thoracic cavity and it moves up and down for inhalations and exhalations. The lungs are surrounded by a series of bones called the rib cage, and these protect the lungs. Between our ribs, we have the intercostal muscles. These are muscles that lie between the ribs and they assist us as we inhale and exhale. The pleural membranes are membranes filled with pleural fluid and they surround the lungs and they prevent friction between the lungs and the rib cage. 